Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Now, since the last episode, I have had some major hiccups with recording. In fact, this is about the fourth or fifth time that I've had recording this video. And what I've had to do is I've had to wipe the save, start again from scratch, and get me roughly to the same point that I'm at now. So, Bob, Bill, and Jeb are all dead. We've still got Valentina. We've got all the things that we unlocked last time still. And we're roughly at that stage. Also, I've got a new rocket, it's called the Spear, and that's because you guys were saying that the last rocket looked like a male member. I will not have any of your smut on my spaceships. Maybe a little smut, but not much. Anyway, yeah, this thing uh, is the Spear. We probably have to complete a couple of, you know, the basic get so far contracts just to make sure that we're fully up to speed with how we were previously. But I've also had a look at some of the advice that you guys have left. One is not to deploy the parachutes until we are at below 300 meters a second. And another one is to use SAS. And it turns out I can use SAS if the Kerbal in the cockpit is a pilot. And as we know, Valentina being the badass that she is, essentially the female version of Jeb originally, she is a pilot, which means we've got SAS. Thank you for not dying, Valentina. You are the most important Kerbal that I've got. So let's save up here and let's take it for a spin. Right, let's give her the beans. Now what we want to do is we want to go over there somewhere because what, we, what do we still have to do? We have to go 750 meters a second get to an altitude of 11 and a half kilometers and a land distance of 11 ki uh, kilometers from Kerbal Space Center. I reckon we can do that. We're already going to start turning now. And jettison those. This is how we do things now. I've learned a bit, you see. Already doing 400 meters a second. 500 meters a second. This is pretty, uh, <laughs> pretty fast. There we go, 11.5 kilometers achieved. 750 meters a second achieved. We're gonna break a thousand meters a second at this rate. 19 kilometers. There we go, there's a thousand. And 50 meters a second. How far can we get from KSC though, I wonder? Let's do a, an observe of our materials at this altitude. Review data. 22 science, we're going to keep that. We're going to observe the mystery goo. 11 kilometers from Kerbal Space Pro uh, Center. The goo's getting very cold. Let's duplicate that. So we've got double the science because hacks. Um, crew report. It seems we are very much in space now. The sky seems to be mostly... Oh, we've passed 70 kilometers. We're now at 80 kilometers. You see, I've been paying attention to what you've been saying, guys, and I've had to think about my rocket design. 28 kilometers from KSC achieved. We're going to break 100,000 meters. Good grief, that's mad. There's the space center right down there. Yeah. 39 kilometers achieved. We have done pretty well with that first launch. I've watched a bit of Scott Manley, so I know what I'm doing a bit more now. So, you know, I, it not a complete idiot left in control of a high-powered rocket. 133,000 meters and still climbing. It's going to hopefully start dropping soon because uh, our orbital speed is de uh, decreasing at quite a uh, noticeable rate. I'm going to make it to 150,000 meters. Yes, we are. That is a very, very respectable altitude to reach. I am very pleased with that so far. Good job, Valentina. You are the best. I think I said that last time, but like, you're still the best. 
You're way better than Jeb and Bob were, because they died very quickly. Let's check out our heat shield. Please don't blow up. It's working, though. No, the heat shield blew up, I think. Oh, was that the Science Junior? Something blew up. Oh, it was a goo. A goo blew up. Never mind. <laughs> Is that a health bar? It looks like, yeah. Well, it could have gone a lot worse. Uh, and now is probably a wise time to deploy the parachutes. Okay. That was not a bad launch. I'm very pleased with that. 52 science. Got a lot of money. Let's see, what should we do with that money now? We could get ourselves advanced rocketry. Or oh, general construction. Or aviation. Uh, flight control, basic science. So what does basic science? We get a stay put nick, rechargeable battery, thermometer, radiator, a large radiator, and comms link. Probably the most useful one to get would be basic science, because I am mad scientist. Anyway, yeah, that's probably pretty good, so we can make a decent science vessel now. We might be able to afford an upgrade. Yes, we can. Now we can make a lot more complex uh, rockets because the vehicle assembly building's been overhauled. So that's quite useful for us. Hopefully we haven't spent too much of our pocket money and hopefully we can still launch the rocket. That's more like it. That's a launch pad. It's a bit wobbly though. Anyways... Good luck, Valentina. Let's see how high we can get this time. I want to see if we can get it into orbit, maybe. If we'd be so fortunate. Now, this does look very good now. It's a definite improvement over last time. wonder how high we're going to get with this. We're still going up, to be fair. This is uh, impressive. Though I get the horrible feeling that upon our return, we might burn up in the atmosphere. At this speed. Yeah, I think that's going to happen. I hope it doesn't, but I think it will. Please don't blow up. Please don't blow up. No, that's gonna blow. Look at it, it's health meters going. No, no, no! No! No, no. Oh, wow. How did we make that? How did we survive that? I have no clue. That was incredible. I was convinced that that was game over right there. There goes our parachutes. Bring us down for a gentle descent. We should not have survived that. I honestly thought that was the game right there. Good grief though. Let's have a see here. What can we do? Uh. Mission control. We'll try the radial one. Go on, let's give that a shot. There we go. So we've got to do it at, where was it? 19,000 to 28,000 kilometers. Now we're going too fast for it to work. Might as well keep going. See if we can get any science. Observe the materials bay. Microgravity's having effects. 
Uh, no, we'll reset the experiment. Come on, can we make- we should be able to make this again. Unless we were going a lot faster. I don't think we were. But who knows. No, we weren't. We survived again. By the skin of our teeth. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. I was an idiot. <sighs> Rest in peace, Valentina. <laughs> so, we've made some progress. We didn't buy anything from here, did we? Well, maybe in the next episode we should have a look at some space plane kind of things, or just aircraft in general. Maybe we can do some of the tests flying in a little sort of space Cessna thing. Who knows? But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Take it easy, have a good day, bye bye.